Hi, Sally. Hi, lovely Lou. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it so much. Grunt family today, actually. Lovely. We have played the Beaker family, and then the Smiths, and Johnny Smith last time. And, oh, and the Spectres. But now we're, now we're on the Grunts, um, and the Singles, and then AJ. And then it's college round. Uh, Ophelia went to college, so then she'll be in college. And then we have round two then.
But I'm not. I'm probably not gonna get all the way through that today. But we'll see what how far we get. But. I got everything loaded for now. Ooh. That tastes funky. Alright, come on, Sims. There we go. Alright, so today we're on the Grunt family starting out. And then we'll be playing, like I said, the singles. They live in this house. And then AJ Loner at the end there. For sure. So let's get into it. How's everyone doing today? It's cloudy outside for me right now, so it feels kind of moody. Board at work. It snowed yesterday, so it was a snow day. Whee! Well, thanks for stopping by <laughs> at work. It snowed a lot. 12 inches! Holy crap! Whoa. Okay, it's been a while since it snowed that much here <laughs> where I live. But, holy crap. We've been kind of lucky where I live because um, I'm next to like water. Oh my god, rip. Really, you gotta play with the fridge as soon as I get in here? Um, I'm next to water, so a lot of the snow and the storms that we get kind of disappear before when they get it close. So I don't get that much snow anymore. <laughs> Okay, kids, go to school. Do something. Go to go do something with your life, other than fight each other all day long. Cause now Rip and Tank are not getting along at all. They've been strangling each other. <laughs> How are you doing, General Buzz? Um, he's got. No, oh, I forgot. He's in the level ten already, so he doesn't have to do anything for his career. He wants to gain a skill point. He wants to work out. Alright, go ahead. He's like, yes! There's nothing I like doing more than working out. He also wants to go swimming, but they don't have a pool, so they have to stop at the pool to go swimming. Sounds nice. I don't mind one snowstorm, but then it's like, go away. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. You live in New England, so Mother Nature is bipolar. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had a, too much of a, a bad winter. I mean, the only problem we've had lately is it's been like cold and then really warm and then cold and then really warm. So then it, it keeps like messing with like. Like, I sound nasally a lot because of that, because my, I don't know, I get bad, um, reaction to it every time. So sometimes I sound like I'm sick, but I'm not. <laughs> and when I mean, like, it gets warm, I mean it gets warm, like, it's like a 40 degrees difference. It's like it'll be like negative 20 and then all of a sudden it'll be like 30 degrees outside and it's like ugh. <laughs> and then the next day it'll be like negative 10 again. Okay, well everyone's at school, so I'm just gonna speed three this until someone comes home. Oh, and Buzz is at work, I should say. Rip wants to have his very first kiss. Aw. I don't know who you're gonna have your first kiss with.
There's not many options here in Strange Town. But they're doing good in school, at least. And Rip has a job as a gas station attendant. Surprisingly, Tank has no job. You would think he'd be in the military career. Oh yeah, I forgot that Tank wanted to apologize to Rip. I thought that was really weird. Time to open up your pleasant view. Uh, I can't wait for the next episode. I already recorded the Burr family and it's so like, there's so much that happened in it and I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm like halfway through editing it, but it was so long because there was just so much that was happening. And uh, I ran out of time yesterday to finish it, so. Oh, that's really sad. Tank has to cheer himself for doing good in school. His own dad isn't here to cheer him on. Did they have more kids? No, I'll tell you they won't. They didn't have any kids. John did not roll a single want to have a new baby. At all. The entire round. Which is shocking to me. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Not a single want for a baby. And... We had two birthdays for sure, and even though we had two birthdays and the kids aged up and all that, he still didn't roll one. Like, normally when your kids age up, they're all like, ah, I want a new baby! No, not a single one. He's a changed man, yeah. He's tired, he's like, I'm good. Did they get burgled? No, I didn't. Always happens in my episode. Yeah, I know, but th they didn't get burgled this time. Surprisingly. <laughs> that can happen if they have little money in my experience or they get a fear of babies. He has not had a want, uh, fear of babies at all. No want, no fear, no, no babies at all. He has not wanted anything. He's just been like chilling. He's happy. He's content with the amount of children he has. Although they still have a couple days in their adulthood, so it could change. They can change their mind, and they could have more kids later. We're playing Nina right now, so hopefully she gets pregnant. <laughs> yeah, she needs a baby in her life. Even though she's a romance sim, I feel like she always deserves one child. My burbs have like $300. He stays rolling the wand to have a baby. <laughs> I actually got quite a bit of money, so I was able to renovate their house, which was nice. Just realized, since you were talking about burglars, I'm gonna buy a burglar alarm for this house. I don't think they have one. <laughs> I don't want to get robbed. <laughs> Although the, the burglar alarms don't normally work for me, they always steal something anyway. I'm surprised the last time that they were able to uh, <laughs> arrest him before they stole something. That was in my, um, my legacy. <laughs> Yeah, your helicopter is really loud, Buzz. I can't hear anything. I can't hear myself think right now. Practice speech. Okay. Maybe it'll get the boys away from each other. Be friends with River. Is River here? Is he... S Where is he? I thought he was hanging out. Did he leave already? Yeah, I must have left already. I don't see him anywhere. Lame. Oh no, he's right here. He's looking at the fish tank. Oh, we can be friends with River. There, let's chat. Since Buck kicked him out of the bathroom. Wait, come back, River. Buzz would throw the football to Tank. Only Tank, though. I don't think, um, 
Hold on. I know he is straight. I was like, I don't know if I ha he has a gender preference, which he does. So we're good. Get a kitten, get a puppy. Fair enough. Let's see here. What should we do? Creativity, cleaning, logic. Sure, let's just go study something. I don't know. Get him to do something. And Tank, you can go work out because you need these body skill points. You're gonna follow in your father's footstep. You are not. Okay, no slapping your brother right now. Just leave him alone. Just, just keep trying to be friends with River here. Gain a skill point. All right. Everyone wants to gain skill points. Do you need one for your job? Yeah, you need creativity. Okay. Do I have something that they could have for creativity? I could buy him an easel. <laughs> would, would General Buzz be into the whole easel thing, though? Well, maybe. Nina's definitely gonna get pregnant. She rolled the want to woohoo with Don four times in a row. Oh my god. Yeah, normally when they want to woohoo a hundred times, that's when a baby comes. <laughs> You just prepare for it. You just, yeah, I'm ready. I'll be shocked if she doesn't get pregnant from this. Yeah, that's what that's what I think. I was just like, every time I have the woohoo a hundred times, I'm like, your risk is only ten percent, so there's a chance. Yeah. Yeah, I did roll play on ten percent for one, and I felt like I didn't have too many babies, so I bumped it up to fifteen. Um. I, I, sometimes I just like having that many kids. Okay, wait. No, Buck, I need to use it, not you. Get off of this, please. It's Rip's, Rip wants to. I'm scrapping your painting. I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> uh, okay, you can get off of this. You need to take care of your needs. Oh, his activity is arts and craft. His, uh... Bobby, you can get off this book too. You don't need to be on that. Maybe we should make some food. Go make some mac and cheese. That's a real man's dinner, mac and cheese. <laughs> In this household, at least. Oh, Buck wants to get a creativity skill point, too. I would like them to get a kitten or a puppy. I guess I'm gonna roll. We're gonna roll. Let's see what I can get. A kitten or a puppy. Um, it's a puppy. Um, let's adopt a puppy, then. Or maybe we can have Tank do it because he's uh, just staring out the window, I guess. Aren't you really hungry? I'm surprised you're not trying to like dig in the fridge for food. Alright, let's do pet adoption. We gotta roll for a big dog or a small dog. And I think it's gonna be a small dog. Funny enough. All right, we got lots of puppies. Wow, four. There's four different kinds we can get here. So let's roll one through four. Oh, and we get Scout. The only one that is not... The one, the last one that is named. <laughs> Scout is kind of a good name for them. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I know you're hungry. There's mac and cheese. Go get it. Enjoy the craft mac and cheese. Okay. 
here. Oh. I was holding the W button. Alright, here comes Scout. There we go. There he is. Aww. He's so cute. What's in here? Oh, that should make Buck happy, yeah. No, he wants help with homework, so we'll have his dad help him with his homework before bed. And Rip's going to go get the pup. There we go. Let's bring him in. She might be pregnant by Benjamin Long, so it'll be a surprise. I know, it's always fun when you like woohoo with a bunch of different sims. And you'd have silent pregnancy on, so then you have no idea whose baby it is. <laughs> Especially if they were around like the same time, so then you're trying to figure it out. Like, wait, it's Benjamin's. Wait, no, it's Don's. Wait, no, it's Benjamin's. <laughs> and you're like, oh, whatever, I'll figure it out when it, uh, when it comes. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even, like, figure it out. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, I think it's Don's. Just like I did with Nina last time. And I was like, yeah, I think it's Don's. It has to be Don's. And then all of a sudden it was Daniel's. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, thanks for cleaning the dishes, Buck. We're gonna have Buck's birthday. We're gonna have Tank's birthday. And I think Rip might also grow up this round, too. Alright, let's ask for homework help, General Buzz. Because I know General Buzz would be very strict on the homework. Unfortunately, the child support mod I use gives child support during pregnancy, so I always know who the dad is before it's born because it tells me they get child support. I know, that's why I didn't use it anymore because it, it spoiled it for me the one time, and I was like, I really didn't like that. I wanted it to be a surprise. And I know a lot of people were telling me that I should, I should, um,. I'm going to do it. I'm going to calculate how old da uh, Daniel's and Don's kids are, and I'm going to give them the amount of money that um, they deserve. And I'm going to, from then on, keep giving them money, but it's just like, I, I probably will have to do it that way because it just doesn't, I don't like being spoiled. <laughs> okay. I like having the surprise like that. It makes it more entertaining and more fun in my opinion. <laughs> And I tried to fix it so I could just, so it wouldn't tell me, but it, it hasn't been going well so far. <laughs> Maybe one day I can get it to work, and if I do, then I'll probably share it. So then those who are like me who don't want to be spoiled can then use it. <laughs> All right, we got your homework done. Awesome. Well, everyone needs to go to sleep. It is one in the morning. You guys got school and work tomorrow. Go to bed. Oh my god, you're making a mess everywhere. This bathroom is atrociously messy right now. Oh, and I forgot about Scoutery. <laughs> the poor puppy! Ah, I need a bed. Get him a bed. She wooed seven times and I don't think she got pregnant. She has industrial strength birth control. <laughs> she really didn't want any kids. She's like, oh, I'm not right. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh my god. That's really funny, and <laughs> yeah, we'll just do that one. Okay, we need to give him some food, but hopefully he can just lay down for a bit. Actually, I'll have Tank get up and get him food real quick, so he doesn't starve and get taken away. There you go.
He's so cute. You think romance sims are so fun to play? Yeah, they're they are in my opinion. Them and uh I like playing romance and fortune and family sims the most. Popularity sometimes if they have like wants towards people, but most of the time they don't normally want to like fall in love or do stuff all the time. I'm surprised Lilith wanted to uh, get engaged. You like pleasure the most? <laughs> Just kidding, I don't even play with pleasures. <laughs> Why not? You don't want to jump on the couch every day and juggle <laughs> and go downtown? Ugh, oh, yeah, no, they are really, really boring. Fuck, you're supposed to be at school! What the heck? Go to school, walk to school. You have to walk to work. Go to work. Jeez. He wants to be friends with Scout. He wants to do his homework. He wants his first kiss. He wants to do his homework. <sighs> Man, I'm gonna have to go out and try to see if I can find any teen girls that he can kiss. Oh, Scout grew into a, a big old doggy already. Well, it's a small dog, but... <laughs> he looks cute! No, don't rip up the chair! Chew on your chew bone. Do that instead. You wish your sims would want pets? I think if they have the- You're almost done with the first round and not a single pet one. Really? Oh my god, I have pets all over my, my town already. I need to, uh... I, I think I'm gonna do it this way too. If they have the want to obtain a pet, I know it's not really, it's very vague, it's like, oh, it could be anything, but I think I'm gonna do it this way. If they have a want to obtain a pet, I'm going to roll whatever kind of pet from the random, like, one through three, you know, big dog, small dog, cats, and then I'm gonna roll a random number from all the pets. So then I can adopt some of the adults in there too, because I feel bad for them not being able to be adopted and loved in their lives. Even though they're really expensive, sometimes if they have like traits and like tricks that they have learned and all that, it, they're really expensive. But you can go. There's a replacement for the have kitten slash puppy, so that's a cat slash dog. Ooh, I want that. That's a good idea. I'm gonna write that down. What the heck happened? Are you guys throwing stuff at each other again? Why is there a puddle on the floor? Is that from the dog? Oh my god, that face! That poor dog! Yeah, you better give him a treat. That is sad. Downloading that right now? Yeah. It's by Effie, get puppy and kitten wants replaced. I'm- yeah. Yeah, please. I want that. He's a great modder. They also made the color traits. Oh yeah, I, I saw that on uh, I saw that on Pleasant Sim stream the other day when she was using it. Uh, thank you for the follow, Sony Simmer. Um, welcome to the stream. <laughs> and the camera lately, so you can have instant pictures and cell phones can take pics. Oh. Oh, that's kind of neat. A scout's growling at Tank. <laughs> he's trying to run from the dog. Come on, Tank, you're not. <laughs> oh, he's a, the dog does not like him. That's interesting. I haven't really used a lot of the pictures in The Sims. Except for in The Sims 4, so then I can hang my family photos on the walls. 
Hey Tank, is Rip available to talk? No, unfortunately he went to work. I always took pictures in The Sims 4 to become friends with yeah, Superfast, but they patched that. Yeah, they've patched that since. I used to do it too because it was such a, a good cheat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they, they made it a bit more, um, it still works, but not as, like, it's not as fast anymore. Like, it's, it's slower. So they patched it up a bit. Tuned it a little bit, I should say. Trying to get some of the clean out and not get them all off though. My Sims never make friends, is why I have a mod with the friend requirement for job in the Sims 2. I know. Getting friends and maintaining your friendships in the Sims 2 for your jobs are really hard. <laughs> in my opinion. I always like have to like I have to call them like every day and if you have like 10 friends it takes like your entire day to call every single person to make sure your relationship stays up. I need to get into Strange Town. I just finished my first round with the goth and the Caliente family in Pleasant View. Pleasant View is so iconic, but if you're looking for like a break from them, Strange Town is also very, very fun to play, in my opinion. Strange Town is a very like small neighborhood to get into. There's not as many Sims to maintain, but it's still fun. They still have all that drama in it. Strange Town is almost like weird in a way. Weird fun. <laughs> it is, yes. It is full of drama, just like Pleasant View. It is very fun because of that. Okay, Buck is gonna grow up tomorrow and Tank. So it's tomorrow we're gonna have a birthday party for both of the boys. Unless Tank wants to go to college finally. And I think it's time that we make Tank apologize to Rip because it's been a couple days. Oh, there's a girl walking down the street. Here, let's see if we can talk to her so we can uh, maybe have our first kiss if he likes her. Oh, he does. Okay. Easy. <laughs> They're just strolling down the street. <laughs> that makes it better for romance sims. When they're just strolling down the street, just stop them. Hey, I think you look interesting. You want to chat in my front lawn while I'm in my work clothes? Oh my god, this road is atrociously not straight. <laughs> but it's not as bad as it could be. Like, oh my god, some of the roads in the Sims are horrible. Do I have hay CR? Yes, I do. ACR is my favorite mod and a must have mod, in my opinion, for The Sims 2. It is- it just creates so much more drama and fun in the game. Alright, let's get some... Perfect. He can meet her, then ACR just takes over. Yep. ACR will probably do everything over here. Yep, ACR is already doing it. <laughs> I don't even need to do the first kiss myself. <laughs> Called it. Yep, yep. ACR is just gonna do its thing over here. F get first kiss from ACR. That's 
Literally what just happened. Can you uh, play some red hands though with her so you're not bored? Okay, well, Buck wants to get into creativity skill points. I'm gonna scrap ribs painting again. It's only fair. Oh, now Tank wants to be friends with Rip. That's so, so sweet. Alright, what's gonna go on over here? Now they're gonna pillow fight. That's what happened to Lucy and Alex the other day. They met and immediately kissed. Yeah. That's literally what just- That just happened just now. Rip just met Tiffany Riley, who was just walking down the street, and he just kissed- first kissed her. That's what happened with Brandy and Darren. You're Brandy and Darren. My Brandy and Darren are having a secret love affair with- and uh, Darren's married to Cassandra in my pleasant view. And this run, I mean... In my other runs, I always have him and Brandy get together, but this run, Don left Cassandra at the altar and then she immediately went for Darren. After rebounding. But, um, Darren, I guess he was stoked about it at first, but now he's, now he's just romancing Brandy on the side, so I don't know what's up with him. Oh, juicy, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for Cassandra too, because now they're gonna have their second child, and <laughs> he's on the side. Like, Brandy's on the side, booty calling him, and he's going along with it. Like, yeah, I'm into this, and he still has like wants for Brandy too. Like, he's been rolling wants for Brandy the entire time I'm playing them, and it's it's kind of upsetting. <laughs> I don't know. I hope. I don't know. I, I I hope Cassandra doesn't get hurt. Too bad. Poor Cassandra, I know. My heart aches for her. You had Brandy and Mortimer get married before because Mortimer had rejected Dina's proposal. Yeah, Brandy and Mortimer are also a cute couple. I did that once too. I that was a very a long very very like long ago save. Okay, he wants to go fishing, play Marco Polo, and invite someone over. Well, that's kind of lame. So why don't we talk to Rip? Because he wants to be friends with Rip. All right, you don't need more leftovers. You're fine. All I could do, he cannot. Then Dina just married Malcolm immediately, yeah. I always get Dina with Malcolm um, right away. Your Mortimer died during your round today very unexpectedly. Oh no. My Mortimer died after his kid grew up um, from his birthday. He waited until after the birthday party to die, which was very nice of him, but very, like, sad. <laughs> Same, yeah. He went through the whole birthday party, he was fine, and then after the birthday party ended, he just dropped dead in the kitchen, and I was like, no! <laughs> no, ACR is just doing his thing over here. Ooh, now he's got a crush. I might have to age up Tiffany um, when Rip grows up. Just so we can have that drama. You drop dead it on the roof. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, everyone go to sleep. It is so late. I should have had you guys doing your homework though and everything. Rip didn't do his homework. You should do some of it at least. Not all of it, just some of it. Alright, General Buzz, why don't you get ready? I'm scared for the first death in your pleasant view manifesting new fields. Normally Herb's the first to die from old age. 
but I mean if you have other means of dying like childbirth and realistic sickness and all of that then that might happen first. Okay, everyone needs to sleep. Or a second mysterious pool ladder accident, yeah, or that. <laughs> Oh no, Scout just peed on the floor. School for peeing on the floor. Okay, I was trying to get him to be friends before we aged up here, but they're really, really tired. Okay, now the dog is chewing on the homework. Scold for destroying the furniture. No! We gotta start training this this dog. I know General Buzz would not have it. You had them adopt the child to be with Bo, but I kinda want Bo with Pesa Ramirez. Yeah, that's one uh I I kinda thought about that after I already adopted the kid from the oldies and then I was like dang it I should have gotten him together with Tessa because now Tessa doesn't have anyone to be with or Melody Melody's an adult too I don't have her with anyone so I gotta find someone they might have to uh, romance someone older or romance a townie You should roll between red hair and brown hair when Bo becomes a teen to see which one he'll choose. Yeah. Leave it up to chance. Alright, it's time for school, everyone. Let's go. We have to throw a birthday party, too. Hey, General Buzz, tank available to talk? No, he went to school. Sorry. Brittany Parker can become a town again if he doesn't pick her, I don't care. <laughs> Just, yeah, get back out on the streets. <laughs> the poor girl. <laughs> I mean, if you're not playing with the Blue Water Sims, it makes it's easier and it makes sense, but I mean if you got the Blue Water Sims then you're just like, dang, now what do I now what do I do with all these Sims? <laughs> They don't have partners. Oh god, we got a chance card. It's a quiet day in General Buzz's posh oak paneled office suite when his private phone springs to life. Picking it up, General Buzz is mildly astonished to recognize the president's voice on the other end of the phone line. Apparently, there's a credible evidence that a major satellite may be breaking orbit irregularly, putting it at a certain at a crash risk. Oh boy, with several highly populated areas. Oh. Should he make an emergency shuttle launch to intercept the satellite, or should they attempt to use their missile system to vaporize the falling satellite into harmless debris? Let's vaporize it. They could be gay, so you never know what will happen. That's true as well. You have to go. Okay, but thank you for stopping, Sunny Simmer. Thank you for the follow, and thanks for chatting. Thank you for... Hope you can catch another here soon. Yeah, I'll be live every Wednesday and, um, oh, hopefully next Wednesday. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll be live, um, mostly every Wednesday and maybe other days if I have time. Well, I am from, I guess from whatever we did to, uh, vaporize it, we, uh, we got $55,000, so <laughs> now we're rich. Let's 
Oh god. Alright. Will you mop this up, please? And then we can talk to your brother some more. Can we please be friends with you before we age up? Or I age up? That's wild. You've never seen that chance card before. I, yeah, I was kind of uh, praying that he didn't just uh, lose his job. <laughs> because uh, I'm kind of hesitant to do chance cards um, when they're that uh, close. Oh, wait, no, Rip, don't go to work. You're gonna not go to- oh no, you can go to work. You're fine. I thought he was gonna age up today. It's just Tank and uh, Buck. We gotta throw a birthday party. You sims never go in the military career? Uh, normally... I never have sims that want to go to the military career except for family sims sometimes. My family sims either roll the want to get a job in the police career or... Maybe the military. Back in the day, when I would just play for fun when I was a kid, I would just get my sims in the military career every time because it gave you the most money starting out. <laughs> Alright, let's get your phone up. Tank, go to the phone, throw a party, birthday party. And let's invite everyone except for Johnny. You don't really know too many people, but at least we'll invite some people over. Have a great party. It'll be great, I'm sure. Looks like everyone came except for just one person didn't come, but the girls came. Kendall Lawson and uh, Tiffany Riley. Alright, we gotta get some cakes. Let's get this one for Buck and this one for Tank. Alright. Blow out the candles, Tank. You too, Buck. Actually, we'll wait a little bit. We'll wait like 30 seconds here. Alright. Alright, now go blow out the candles. You too. Mm. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, and Rip just got home, so he's gonna be here for uh, the birthday. Hopefully, the, t the phrase isn't gonna block them. <laughs> the fridge is blocking him. <laughs> Well, never mind, we can see him a little bit here, but Rip is blocking his face. Alright. Um, we're not gonna age up anybody because he's not friends with anyone, but... There we go. There's Buck. Nice outfit, Buck. <laughs> That's totally something that your father would let you wear. And I think we talked about this, and I think he... likes popularity, or he has a hidden popularity aspiration. I remember correctly um he has he rolled my turn on so he's got red hair so I think I might leave it because he rolled something that he got himself hold on let me see if his bug ground. I want to see if he has a hidden hidden aspiration I think he does have it Yeah, he has a hidden popularity, if ever anyone is wondering for the future. I'm gonna leave it for red hair then, I guess, and influential in Cologne, because that's what he rolled. I would make it blonde, but he did it himself. 
Ga doog. The fog. Oh, and he could he actually could be by or day. That's also a thing I didn't uh, think of. I know you're really bored. Go play on the computer then. Give it in the toy bin so we don't have more kids. King wants to get a job in the athletic or the business career. <laughs> That's weird. Alright, the party was a good time, so they had a good, uh, a good party at least. Hold on, I think in the exception of Tank... In the exception of Tank, I'm gonna probably get him a job in the military career. Just because I know that he is supposed to be like... He's supposed to follow in his father's footsteps, like... And I know General Buzz would just give him a job right away in it. In, in the career, easily. He'd vouch for his son. Yeah, we're gonna take the military job. Because I know he'd be like, son, you're going to be just like me when I grow up, when you grow up. And he's going to be like, okay, dad. And then he just does it. Just because he knows he can never say no. Ooh, clean that up. Everyone is exhausted. So let's go to sleep. Buck, why don't you go to bed in your own bed? You want to buy a piano? Sure, we'll buy a piano. Well, now I've got plenty of money to renovate the house. <laughs> I have to do a renovation stream where I just go around and I renovate, like, some of the, uh... I have to, um, renovate some of the, uh, community lots. Because I don't like the, uh, shopping district that they have here. It's really messy. I hate how they put the stoves next to the fridges in The Sims 2. I always have to move them. Yeah, I always like to have a counter in between the stove and the fridge. Or if they're like across like this, this is annoying because if someone's cooking and then someone tries to get into the fridge, they're gonna complain because they can't get it in the fridge. So, I'm gonna move that actually now that you mentioned that. I'm gonna have to renovate this whole place, but right now I'm not doing that. There. That was Scout. Scout needs a bath. Tank, you have to go to work. Good luck. And we're gonna wash Scout. Or Scout can just, you know, run away from the bath. That's nice. Thank you, Scout. Up simulator right now. Rip is not gonna age up this round. He's gonna age up next round on the first day. Jeez. All right, Tank just got home. He brought home a friend. Oh, it's this guy. Let's say goodbye to him.
What does Rip want to do? He wants to go to college. Well, hang on to that thought and you'll go. Everyone wants to buy a piano. Fine, I'll buy you a piano. Hmm. Maybe I can put it in Buck's room. Somehow. see here. Can I fit a keyboard somewhere? Or maybe I can put it in the gym. I feel like... I feel like, um... General Buzz would not approve of having a keyboard in his gym, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's play some games on the computer. Gain a skill point. Alright, we can do that. Why don't we uh, study mechanical, maybe? Buck is already on the piano. I know Buzz is home. Alright, let's work on their, their wants a little here. So we got Be Friends with Scout. So let's go play Razzle. And we'll pet him, give love, stroke. Yeah, I know he stinks. <laughs> We're gonna work on that. We're gonna give him a bath, too. So let's go give him a bath. Alright, we're gonna be done with that. Okay, are we, are we washing the dog? Okay, there we go. Yeah, be a good boy. General Buzz wants to be the master of scout. Of course you do. Alright. Let's sit on the couch here. And have them talk to each other. Oh man, I just washed you. Why you gotta roll in the puddles? No. No rolling in puddles. Whew. Whew. I might need a maid or something to come clean the house. Cause man, these people are not good at cleaning. So I'm probably gonna do that real quick here. Let's get a maid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are they friends yet? No. Get up. I'm trying to chat so we can be friends. Oh, he doesn't like tickles, but he'll let you hug him. Okay. Hey, General Buzz, is Buck available to talk? Yeah. Oh, it's the hobby lady. Your enthusiasm with, with the... Playing the piano is always great. Oh, I don't want your music and dance uh, 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 magazine. Leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Caution mark? Under the machine. Oh, that's a Oh. There we go. We finally were able to become friends with each other, which is something that Tank wanted to do. Alright, yes, yes, yes. You're really tired. I get it. So first, let's get you some food, because you're starving. Alright, eat the hot dogs. Leftover food, and then we'll go to sleep. And Tank made some hot dogs. Shabbat. And then you can also go to sleep. I need better, better, better stuff, better toilets, better beds, everything, so then their needs go up faster. That way it's easier to take care of them. Let's do that. I'm gonna upgrade some stuff here so they can rest better. Hmm. Medicine cabinets up with the mirrors. There we go. And we're gonna switch this shower out for one of these ones. I hope they can get in that. If not, I'll have to move some stuff around. <laughs> Alright. It's six in the morning. Hank, you gotta go to work. Man, your schedule is all messed up. You need to be up in the morning like General Buzz, ready to go. Means he has to go to bed earlier. It's my fault for not taking care of him. Alright, what are we at? Last day of summer. Alright, this is the last day for them. So then the next round we'll be playing- or next family we're playing the singles. So there'll be a lot of uh, going out and trying to find someone to match them with. <laughs> Alright kids, it's time for school. You guys gotta do your homework a little bit first. I don't have you walk to school. That's good enough. Fuck, did you just do your homework? I didn't want you to actually do it. He was faster than I thought he would be. Okay, go to school. Good. Oh good, the maid's here. Thank god we can clean it. Oh, and I find General Buzz up here. Playing the piano. <laughs> this is odd for him. How about you go outside and trim these shrubs, because this is kind of annoying. Oh, and I have to buy the dog a collar. I don't have the um, pet store yet. That's something I want to, I guess I'll re renovate the mall and make it different. So then we can have a, a pet store. Ooh, Tank got a promotion! Yay! Good job, Tank. Let's get you, uh, feeling a little better. Let's get these guys better beds, too.
Let's see here. What do we want? Just do these. That doesn't look bad. Right, we'll do those. Maybe I should do the lighter one, actually. Okay, and the black one here. And then another blue one down here. Although, I kind of want to move this. Then we have a, um... We have a, uh... We have a spot for a double bed. So I feel like General Buzz should have a double bed. Move this out here. Move this right there. I don't know why we have this random table. Move this up here. Move all the homework. We'll have to move the dog's bed, and then we can put a double bed in here. All said, everything's clean. You didn't clean the toilet. This this is clean on the toilet. You liar. All right, and the dog's bed. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. It's not gonna fit in General Buzz's room anymore. Maybe we'll just put it in Tank's room or Buck's room. Here, we'll put it in Buck's room. Um, let's get to bed for General Buzz now. There we go. Now I got matching beds. Hawk's over here checking himself out in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, you think you look really cool, Buck? Jeez, I might as well hire a gardener. This took him all day long to do all this. And Rip's birthday will be tomorrow. I'm gonna see how many days that he worked, and I'm probably gonna put his money in his bank because I feel like he would invest and put money in his bank away from his father's stuff because I don't think he cares much about being here. And let's get Scout a, uh, a collar here since he deserves one. We'll get him this. We'll get him this one. Is there a different one, maybe? Nah. Black. Thought there was a different one that I was looking at. Maybe not. We'll just buy this one. And you'll have to. Ooh, get the gun. Hello, Michelle. Oliva.
Fanusha? Alright, here we go. Let's put the collar on Scout. Why did Buzz come upstairs to complain to me that he was tired? Because it's in my view, Buzz? Is that what that was for? Oh, dang it. I bought it for the wrong pet type. I bought it for a big dog. Dang it. Ugh. Okay, fine. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, everyone. Okay, let's go back. Buy this one, though. You can go to sleep too. Alright, there we go. Answer the phone quick if you can get it. Oh, yep, we got it. It's, uh, Tiffany Riley. It's Rip's kind of fling that he has going on. Alright, let's, uh, go have some breakfast. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Bless me. Alright, clean these up. It is now the end of the round for the grunts, though. So we'll be moving on to the singles, and I think I'm gonna have them try to get some... meet someone. Meet people. Get them doing stuff. Oh my goodness, this dog just peed on the floor again. No peeing on the floor, Scout. Oh, and I think Rip wants to go to college. Cause uh, he, he should have re-rolled his wants. Here, let's give love to Scout. <laughs> Nisha. There we go. There are no feed the fish. <laughs> yeah, no, this was this was actually part of his wants because uh Scout gets a job was still one of them. Wow. Alright, so I guess Rip will be going to college. So we can actually have him do that now. You can have him apply for scholarships. Here we go. He doesn't apply for anything. That's fine. College, move to college. Yep. He can move to college. Um, it is the first day of fall, so we'll move him in on the first day of fall. Um, after we play Ophelia for four days. At the end of this round. Alright, have fun! Our, uh, tank, you're supposed to go to work. Okay, good, he made it. Alright, we're good. I think we're good. Alright, so let's get out of here. Let's save and get out of here. Woo! So we're done with them. Now we can play the singles for a round. Let me update my spreadsheet here. I never updated my spreadsheet. There's a lot of popularity sims here in uh, Strange Town. That's for sure. Let's see here.
Popularity, popularity, popularity. Rip is a romance sim. Romance. Popularity. Oops. Oh, I didn't calculate any of Rip's money. I should have done that. I forgot. So we'll have we'll have um General Buzz send him his money. Send money to Rip from his job. Okay, and I can do that. Gank is an adult, Buck is a teen now, and Rip will be a young adult, and I will write a note, move in when it's fall day one. I'm done with that, now I can play the singles. So let's go play them. Here we are, right where I left all the singles. They're all just chilling on the couch watching a movie together. Lola wants to woohoo in bed and get a job in the architecture career. Erin wants to be friends with Johnny. Oh no, she's got two bolts with her, him. These two are just fighting each other. No poking each other. I need to get them out of here. I need them to do things where they are not killing each other. I just want to check the job catalog and make sure there's nothing. Nope. Oh my god, Aaron and Chloe do not get along at all. Oh, do we have work? No, does she have work? No. Let's take, um... Let's take everyone down to the pool. Okay, I don't want a picture. I want to take everyone down to the pool. We're gonna go meet people. Let's just go somewhere. So we're not killing each other. Alrighty, here we are. Let's meet some people. Let's get away from each other. <laughs> or just keep slapping each other, that works too. I'm gonna have to separate you two, huh? Get away from each other. Jeez. Soak in the hot tub? Get in the hot tub then. Hey, 
Hate and grass. Alright. Sure. Just, just meet everyone. Just start meeting everyone. There's Buck Grunt. She wants to soak in a hot tub too. Right, so can you get in there before we lose the chance? Never mind, we just lost our chance. <laughs> Dang it! They're in swimming. Lola is waiting for Kristen to stop making hot dogs so she can eat. She snatched the seat, yeah. Gosh dang it, Caitlin Goss. That was my spot. Hmm. Seeing a reoccurring theme. I think everyone likes hot dogs in this place. Keep a Voshala. Well, Kristen, you made the hot dogs. Why don't you eat them? Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Oh my god, her and Aaron are not getting along at all. They're so negative. Maybe we can invite AJ over. Since it uh, looks like Chloe knows him. Why don't we all go home? Mm -hmm. Alright. There's, there's a lot of teens around and a lot of women. Young teen women. Well, we're going home, guys. Everyone go home. Oh my god, they were gone for six hours? Jeez. Man. Kristen lost. And Aaron Beaker. You know, for someone, she's, I think she's Loki's sister. For Lo being Loki's sister, she looks incredibly well, good looking. <laughs> Who is it? Oh. It was, uh, AJ, but he wanted to talk to Kristen, I guess. And those two are fighting outside in the backyard. These two absolutely hate each other. I need to get them out of- <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's ask AJ to come over. Why not? Can your friend come over? Sure. Mm, yes, 
Zavol, Wazalova. Zavol, what do I got? Oh my god, AJ flirting with her? Yeah, he's flirting with her. <laughs> AJ! You get here in two seconds and you're already flirting with Lola? She, he brought Linda Bartlett with her. You're gonna kick my trash can over? Ethan! How dare you! I guess we'll grab a bowl of ramen. She made some ramen. Jeez, you two. Can you stop fighting? AJ! What are you doing? Guys! What the heck? AJ! Chloe! Stop! What are you just gonna romance everyone? Like, oh, there's like four girls here and they're all pretty hot. I'm just gonna start flirting and woohooing with another one. Ah! Don't woohoo with her. She's a romance sim. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you better not get pregnant with this, I swear to god. I do not want you with her. Whatsoever. I'm shipping Lola and, and uh, AJ together. <coughs> How dare you, Chloe. Chloe and, and uh, Lola are gonna fight for him. Watch. Okay, I don't think she got pregnant. I think we're good. Thought you would make smarter decisions than that. You gotta fix this. This is just leaking puddles everywhere. And these two are beating each other up again. Linda's like, this is this is some drama here. You got these people fighting all day long. All right, it's time to uh, sleep. Jeez. You stick a stick four sims in a household and they all just start attacking each other like crazy. Erin and Chloe are not getting along at all. Leave because they're tired. Except for Lola, she stinks. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. Everyone's leaving. Bye. Jeez. Troublemakers here. Okay, hang on. Let's find a job. Let's see if we have anything in the job catalog. Music career? No, 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 no. All right, well, nothing for uh, Chloe, unfortunately, and the other girls. Cause we need business for Kristen, and Lola wants architecture for some reason. <laughs> Ay ay ay. Maybe we can take Chloe out to go date some random dude. She wants to meet someone new. Oh my god, these are just gonna. Okay. Go at each other some more. Wants to be friends with Buck. Maybe if we ask, be friends with Buck. 
Then we can invite the entire household over. And then we can meet everyone. Oh my god, would you quit crying? You're the one who keeps starting all the fights. Like, why are you crying about it? You're the one who keeps fighting her. And then the one fight you lose, you get mad at? You, you, oh my gosh. You cry about it. She cries about it. Oh my god, these two are just in, like, pain, like, pain, like, gosh. Knock it off. Aaron wants to throw a party. I don't think it would be a really good party if you guys would just be at each other's throats. Ripping each other apart. I might have to take Lola out of here to go meet some guys. Do the romance sims that she wants to do. Here, come, come eat. Oh, Aaron's leaving. Good. That's another thing she could do. And why don't we take Chloe down to the, the cruddy looking mall and we can see if we can meet some people. Alright. Let's walk to lot community lot. We're just gonna go by ourselves. We're gonna go down to this mall that I'm gonna renovate because it's horrible. 88 Road to Nowhere. Things that I want to build for this town. I'm gonna have to build more houses for the future. I have to build a graveyard for all those poor souls in Olive's Garden. I have to... What else do I have to do? I would like to build sort of like a... Apartment complex, sort of, that we can have here. Um, I want to renovate this place because this place is atrociously bad. You'll see why in a second. <laughs> the pool is pretty, like, it makes sense to me, but, like, this place is horrible. We have. Okay, here we go. We got a random parking lot with, an, you know, kind of like a grocery store. Okay, got it. Then we have this little small little video games and magazines store in the middle. And then this tiny clothing store, which it makes sense. But then upstairs there's this random office, I guess, on top. Like, it's supposed to be a pretend office. Why is this, like, a thing? Like, is this supposed to be the back room? There's an open arch into the back room without painted walls. I think that's supposed to be the back room where they keep their clothes, but like you could literally just walk in here and walk behind the counter. Like, I don't get it. It's so bad. Oh, and then in the back we have a random corner with trash. And then we have a 2x2 two two pool in here. For some reason. <laughs> this, this lot is so bad. So I would like to renovate it, hopefully. Alright, let's meet some guys around here. We got Vidkin, Tank is here. Oh, good. Let's just meet everyone. Gerard Landry, we can meet him. Just start meeting everyone. I want you to just meet everyone. Oh my god, nervous. <laughs> nervous is farting on Laszlo. Alright, Peter Sims wants to say hi. Everyone's crowded in this area, they can't get out. Oh, she likes Peter Sims. Let's go talk to Vidkin. Oh, Vidkin and her. Oh my god. They can't get out now. 
Oh my god, this is horrible. This is why I need to renovate this lot. She's well now she's stuck here for for life because uh, everyone's just standing in the doorway. Okay, now get me out of here. <laughs> she's imprisoned from in, by being standing in the doorway. I want to talk to Vidkin. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, they're they're uh. Related. How are you related? Oh yeah, they are related from Glam. Glam Curious. Glarn Curious, sorry. They're brother and si they're half brother and sister. Hmm. You guys never met? That's pretty sad. There's Tina. Yeah, Tina. Tank is still here, so why don't we greet him? Everyone's just browsing clothes in the back room. They're not even browsing clothes in the actual store. They're in the back room behind the counter. <laughs> this is terrible. Alright, why don't we walk to lot community or no, walk to lot home. Actually, let's greet this dude too. There's Loki Beaker. Tank's probably gonna end up fighting everyone that's, uh, alien, so Chloe and Lola you might end up beating up in the future. Oh, Nervous made hot dogs. How nice of you. I have a feeling Tank and his dad are just gonna end up being really mean to all the alien people in town. Because they're like that. They hate everyone alien. The beakers are just like, we don't care, we just want to experiment on everyone. And that includes their firstborn son, I guess. <laughs> Since they lost Nervous, because Nervous got out. Because his mom died and gave him his, uh, home. What do we want? Buy a bookcase costing at least $650. Girl, you guys have no money. You guys can't even get a job either because you can't... Okay, you guys need to clean up too. That's kind of annoying. Clean up a little. Well, thank you, Kristen. Can't even find the job you want because it's not in the catalog today. Maybe we can throw a party tonight. That'll make Aaron happy at least. Oh, we just gained 43 bucks. Nice. What are they gonna do? They're gonna play catch? At least these two are getting along. Everyone gets along, except for Aaron and Chloe. Chloe's gonna need her own space. Is she going into the phone? Lola, please? Is Chloe available to tap? No, she's not home yet. Oh, now she is. She literally just got home. I probably could have had her say- I probably could have said yes. Maybe we can call him back. And just chat. So I'm sure that's what he was asking her for. Alright, well our computer broke, so one of you are gonna need to uh, try to fix it. Oh, Chloe just got a free sample. What'd you get? Oh, wow, a computer. Thanks. What I'm doing right now is I'm selling it. Actually, we don't need to fix it then. We can just sell the crappy one and put the one that she just got the same amount. 
but I'm putting it as the hacked computer so we can use it. Alright, what happened? What are we doing here? We don't want to... Okay, well, why don't we... She wants to invite someone over, so why don't we invite everyone over? Invite household. Invite everyone. Sounds great. We'll be right over. We're gonna invite everyone so we can meet people. Can you greet everyone? Take a shower. Sorry, our front door is broken. I have to go all the way around the back to come. The latch is stuck. Buy our microwave. Can we greet everyone? Oh no, I just greeted- I just greeted him. Greet everyone. Everyone can meet everyone. Come say hi. The grunts meet the singles. Oh my god. Kristen has no chemistry with General Buzz. <laughs> what do you guys this chemistry like? Unemployed underwear. You like travel and cologne. You like unemployed great dancer. And you like millions and cologne. Wow. What is happening? General Buzz and Lola are gonna woohoo? Oh my god, what is happening? I'm trying to settle. I'm trying to settle Lola with AJ and then General Buzz is like, nah, I wanna get into that. I feel like he would not woohoo with an alien woman. Oh my god, and these two are just fighting again. This is horrible. What is going on? Uh, Buck's like, I'm out of here. Oh my god, and these two are gonna woohoo. I have to let it happen because I'm playing it like I just let it happen. I feel like this is not realistic because he would not woohoo at all. Oh my god. Just don't get pregnant, please. I don't want to have a baby between you two. And these two are fighting again, yet again. Alright, yep, we're exhausted. Why don't we go to bed? Go to bed. Bye, bye. Everyone's leaving. Bye. I'm gonna have to move these. Then I'm gonna have to separate some people. There's no job still. Alright, yep. I'm gonna have to separate some people. Holy moly. These two are like as bad as the Pleasant Sims. They just keep fighting each other. <laughs> Buy an expensive bookcase. Alright, fine, I'll buy you an expensive bookcase. So then you're not in the red anymore. I can't have these people. These people are just... Uh, 600? Let's just buy this one. Why can't I put it here?
Why can't I put it there? What's in the way? There's nothing in the way. There. Jeez. Oh my god, she wants to make a wish. We got a- we got a genie lamp. I don't like using genie lamps, it's not realistic. Just gonna keep everyone's uh, relationships up. Try to make friends with people. She wants to be friends with Tank. Alright. We'll have you call Tank next. Although, I think he might be at work. And you have work in an hour. But we can try. Yeah, no, he's at, he's at work. Why don't you eat? Alright, have fun at work, Erin. You're the only working person in this house. I feel bad for her. Wanna earn $100? Alright, why don't you write an article? Because then you can get some skill points and you can earn some money. Buy a TV costing 3000 Buy a microwave? Buy a stereo costing 2000 Lola, you can't just buy all this stuff. It's so expensive. I thought this ho household would be fun, but uh, everyone keeps fighting and I don't like it. I want out now. <laughs> Oh, Erin let some of her co-workers borrow the coffee shop sound equipment for their rock concert at a local club. Unfortunately, they blew out one of the more expensive amplifiers and won't have the money to replace it. The amp is Erin's responsibility, but there are only a few options. She can simply replace the amp or put it in storage and hopefully nobody notices. Let's just buy a new one. She knows she messed up by letting others borrow the amps, so she heads to the local music store and buys the amps to replace the broken one. Things get a little complicated when the coffee shop owner pulls up behind Erin in line. Oh, no. She knows Erin isn't paid enough to afford an amp for herself, and she demands an explanation. Erin comes clean, and her boss, impressed with her honesty, decides to cover the cost of the amp and invites Erin to apply her honestly as a summer camp music teacher. She's promoted! Yay! <laughs> Well, that's good for her. Alright, let's see if he's, anyone's home. I think we can call up Tank. Or Buck. Or Johnny. They should all be home. Tank's home. Alright, you got your money that you wanted. She wants to buy a ceiling fan now. And earn more money. No, 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 we're not fighting. Not today. Please. Please don't fight today. Why don't you just eat? And then we're gonna keep talking to everyone to make friends, because that's what she wants to do. There we go. We made friends with him. Let's talk to Buck. Oh, never mind. She doesn't want to be friends with him anymore. She wants to be friends with Johnny. Oh, he's not home. He must be at work. Alright, never mind. I was gonna have her talk to Johnny, but... I guess we'll work on her, uh, creativity skill point, then. That she wants to get. Okay, never mind. Lola stole the. She stole the. Oh my god. Ah! The fighting.
We'll grab a is Kristen available to talk? Yeah. After she's done eating. Do we have any points? No, we don't. Makes sense. We haven't really earned anything. This is not the kind of outcome I was thinking that would happen. I was thinking Logo and AJ would get together, but that was a no. Um, AJ woohooed with Chloe, but it makes sense. She's a romance sim. She's going to want to, you know, woohoo with random people. She doesn't care. Um, and then afterwards... General Buzz woohooed with Lola, which was kind of uh, shocking to me, considering he doesn't like aliens. What do we have for jobs? Please, more jobs. Architecture, we got one. That's um, Lola's job she wants to get. Everyone needs to go to sleep, please. I like how they'll exit out the building. Maybe I could lock it. So they can't get out through these doors. Then they can use the hallway at least. Because they exit out and then they go all the way around to come back in. <laughs> That's just funny to me. Alright, Erin, you gotta go to work early this morning. Good luck. Lola, your job is available, so let's find your job. Architecture, yes. There you go, now you got a job. I'd be happy with that. Gain a mechanical. She needs a mechanical, I guess. She's already level 3, that's pretty good. Yeah, keep on clogging that, because that helps you. Or not. Right, well, then we'll just keep studying. Clean it up. Study mechanical. <laughs> Clay wants to be friends with Vidkin and Aelin. You can see if Vidkin's home real quick and we give him a chat. They're just- they're brother- half-brother and sister so they could uh, be friends. That's fine. Awesome. All right. Now Lola is ready for work. Wow, Reba, chop now. Which she works tomorrow, so she'll be her first day of work is tomorrow, so she'll be ready for that. We're in this home. She wants to be best friends with Tank. Maybe we can invite Tank over then, and they can talk. She needs to sleep for a little bit though, because she's exhausted. But Kristen, can you meet, greet Tank for me? Happened. Was he trying to flirt with her? Oh no, he's trying to admire her, and she was like, I'm not having any of that. Okay, no, we're not gonna kill her. No more killing her. I don't like this. No more fighting. I brought you over so we could be friends. Kristen, did you just flirt with him? Like, what the heck was that? She just, like, caressed him. What is going on in this house? Alright, well, let's go write another article. 
you crack don't, it. don't poke. Get first kiss? Tang's gonna first kiss her. Oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this house is a mess! <laughs> oh my god. Tank's like, I want in on that. She's like, I want to be best friends with him. And then they're just like, nah, first kiss. Okay, can you stop ruining this moment? He's like, go here and go beat her up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, man. Oh, she won to. He's like, that'll, that'll teach you. Not the fire in her. I don't know. She doesn't like him. She has no chemistry with him, but... I don't... She must be jealous of something that Aaron did. She's gotta be jealous. She's jealous that she's finding love before her. She's a romance sim. That's gotta be it. Oh my god, now these two are gonna relax. I can't. First kiss and the first woohoo right away. <laughs> Lola, can you answer that please? It's Aaron. Is Aaron available to talk? Uh, no. I'll have her call you back in a second. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, those two are gonna be uh, lovers real quick. At least we have someone pairing with someone else in this town. And now she's got two bolts with him. They just had one, but I guess he must have been good in bed because she was like, dang, I like that. <laughs> now they got two bolts. Attack. No, no more attacking. We're not doing this. No attacking. This is getting ridiculous. I'm going to have to separate you two. Chloe, why don't you go to bed before things get worse? She's like, congrats on growing up. Oh, now she's going to bed too. She's like, I gotta copy what Chloe does so then I can beat her up in the morning. She's going to bed, I gotta wake up early so I can beat her up in the morning. What do we have? Can we find a job? Oh yes, business career. Thank God. Now we just need the slacker career. Are you trying to leave? What's going on? Play kicky bag. Oh, he keeps trying to play with and talk to Lola, but you know what? I think it's time for you to go. It's really late and everyone needs to sleep. Ay yay yay. I'll just Chloe is not having a good time. Let's see what we got. Nope. I feel like the science career is always an option when you're playing in Strange Town in the job finder. Jeez, everyone wants to gain a creativity skill point. I might have to give them a piano. So they can play. I don't even know where I would put it. Probably in the basement. In the creepy basement in this house. I'll have to renovate it and put some stuff down here so they can actually do things. So it's not just some creepy basement down here. Hey, bruh. Ooh, see? Soon, soon. 
Gain a logic seal point, gain a charisma. Alright, we're gonna gain a charisma. Everyone gets along except for Chloe and Aaron. They hate each other. And this is the last day for these three, four. These four. <laughs> and then we have AJ and that's it for the round. And then we have uh, the college round next. Alright, time for work. Who else has work? No one? Oh god, it's Aaron and Chloe are off. <laughs> Stay away from each other. You mind taking a uh, a break off of that, Chloe, so then Aaron can uh, go practice. And you can call up Vid. Can oh, never mind. Um, well, well, I guess we'll call up Aylin, Aylin Thompson. Try to be friends with some people. Just talk. What are doing? Oh my gosh, you're so close. Keep chatting. There you go. Get some lunch. Okay, these are weird. She wants to gain a skill point, gain a creativity skill point. She's got no romance wants right now. She just wants- this is more like popularity stuff. Alright, why don't you call up someone? I don't know if Johnny's home, but we can try. No, he's not. Is Tank home? We can just talk to him for a bit. She wants to be best friends with him. Alright, now you can go back on the piano, Chloe. Go ahead. I don't care. Let's get some food. Hey, Lola got a promotion. She's head of the construction now company. That's good for her. And she's in line for another promotion, so she's doing really well. And never mind, we just lost a couple friends. Okay, we're still good though. Kristen is done and she brought home War Gordon. Alright, why don't we... Okay, Johnny is just not home. He's never home. Alright, well then let's just invite Tank over again. It's easier to make best friends when they're actually over versus calling them up every day. Let's greet him. Lola, why are you woohooing with this guy now? Okay, I'm not letting you woohoo with this guy. You just met him. I'm, I'm putting my foot down a little. Just a little here. She already woohooed once. With general buzz of all people. I'm putting my foot down on this one. You need to calm down. She needs to find a lover. She needs help. Oh my goodness. Buy a bar, buy a car. Earn money. Okay, no, stop. Go write an article. Go earn some more money. Go network or something. Can you network? I don't think she can. I don't know where you do it. I'm just gonna let her write write some stuff though. And these two I'm just gonna have okay, ACR is just gonna take over for these two. And Chloe's down here dying because she's just pounding away at the piano. Mm. Alright, well, she does not like this Gordon guy, but she wants to flirt with him. Okay. She's like, I'm convinced I can turn him around. Ooh. 
No, no slapping. We're not doing this. Alright, keep talking to him. Gossip. There we go. Now we're best friends. Appreciate tank. Okay. Get on the back row. The practice speech so you get a charisma skill point. Is Chloe able to talk? Yes, she is. <laughs> I'm gonna get her to flirt with this dude after the phone call, though. Alright, there we go. Okay, Lola earned the money that she was looking for. Ugh, just go to bed. Everyone should just go to sleep. Entertain tank. Right. Tell him a dirty joke. Appreciate him. Fine, give him the appreciates. You go to bed. Bye. Bye, tank. This guy keeps coming up and kissing everyone's cheeks. That's a little weird. Go, go home, Gordon. He's like, I'm gonna kiss all the girls' cheeks and see which ones I like. <laughs> Alright, this round should be up. Yep. Now we're moving on to AJ. AJ's the last sim we have here today. I'm thinking. If not, then we can play. Uh, we'll see. Because I do have four days to play with Ophelia, too. And I might want to finish that as well. And get that over with. Might as well. Finish round one. And then we can come back around for round two in the next stream. But I might do some renovating first before that. So then uh, we have that going for us. Where did you go? Why are you running out here? What's wrong? Okay, the bad part about having one bathroom is that everyone needs to go to the bathroom. Alright, let's see if we can find the job for Chloe from the last day here. Use that. Oh, we kind of have to leave. Alright, well, can we find that job first? Oh my god, Lola just farted on Chloe when she was eating. That was disgusting. Journalism, entertainment, athletic, medicine, politics. No slacker. Alright, well, that was it. I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> leave it as it is. So, in that family, we had Tank come around and he first kissed Aaron. And it looks like Aaron is reciprocating the love that he, uh has uh has approached her with so he i think he's um in, she's into it so they might be getting together which is cute uh lola i don't know she's confused she wants to woohoo everyone she's more uh woohooing everyone than um chloe is and chloe is the romance sim <laughs> but we did get everyone jobs besides chloe so everyone should be starting to earn their own income and i need to I need probably Aaron to move in with Tank because I need to split up Chloe and Aaron because they are just ripping each other's. They're just not happy. They're ripping each other's throats, like fighting every half a second. Um, so we have Fortune, Fortune. Oh, she's popularity. And then Fortune. Two Fortunes, one Romance. Sim. And AJ is a Fortune Sim. Just updating my spreadsheet so I know who's who or how many I have. Alrighty. He wants to buy a table. Okay, fair enough, actually. <laughs> I didn't get him a table. Well, then I will get you a table, AJ. Get you one of these. And let's put... Hmm, let me 
need something that matches. These don't match. Maybe I can color swatch here. See which one matches the closest. I don't really have one that's custom that matches. I might have to use this one then. The Max's color. And I'm not gonna waste this money like that. I'm gonna redo it. We'll just do that. That's fair. That way if he has someone over he can... What is this? Buy a living chair? Buy a piano? Can I move this back a little? There we go. Buy a living chair. Okay, fine. You can't really have anything really crazy though because you kind of broke. I get the matching stripes to go with the stripes. <laughs> um, let's do one of these. There you go. I got a living chair. How's that? Happy? Earn some money. Fair enough. Do you have a job? No. You want to get a job? No. <laughs> he wants a ceiling fan, though. Can I get you one of those? Maybe. Where are you, ceiling fans? Maybe we can do a cheap one. You can put it in his room here. Okay, I don't like that color. There you go. There's your ceiling fan. Happy? We can turn on all fans. Huh? There we go. Now he wants to get a job in the business career. Let's see what we got. Law, artist, criminal, law enforcement, and military. No. And he's got some bills he's got to pay, so we'll go pay those. I want to see his token stats. His one and only is Lola Curious. He has the hot for Lola. Interesting. Maybe he might call her over then. That's funny considering he uh, completely woohooed with Chloe first. They have no bolts, him and Chloe. They just decided to woohoo. Like, what? <laughs> That's so confusing. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, why don't we continue practicing and just get creativity level 4. Never mind the phone's ringing. Who is it? Linda Bart- Bartlett. Bartlett. Right? Yeah. Buy a car, buy a piano, buy new clothes. And gain. Okay, never mind, he's re rolling. Buy a sculpture. Okay, really? Buy another ceiling fan? Ah, Fortune Sims. They're never happy. Just buy everything. Eat his sandwiches here. Yeah? And we gotta go to sleep. It's, uh, it's late. And then tomorrow we'll look for that job again. Yeah, we might speed through this around like pretty quickly. I forgot how easy it is to take care of just one sim. <laughs> and how fast it is, so. Might end up playing Ophelia then afterwards in college. And we'll get to see if she got pregnant, but I don't think. So. She, she might not have. She might be fine. Alright. Let's eat. Let's find a job. Nope. 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 Okay. Still no business career. Alright, 
let's keep painting then, I guess. And I'm just gonna let him do whatever he wants Ooh. today. And that might just be chilling. Hmm. Oh, Buzz has come to take his newspaper. No, don't do it, General Buzz. No, why? My newspaper. I heard him mecha like maniacally laughing over in the corner before he snuck up there. Peace. He's just taking care of himself. Better than any, any of my other sims have. I don't have to do anything. He's just taking care of all his needs. Well, except for this, where he's just laying down and getting back up every half second. Oh, answer the phone. What's Kristen? He wants to talk about Javi. Maybe I can... I'm gonna invite Lolo over. Oh, she's working. Okay, well, once she gets home... I'm gonna invite her over and we can talk about hobbies. They're just harmless friends right now. Or ACR will just booty call her. That, yeah, that works too. Okay. Yep, here he goes. She's like, okay, sure, I'll come over. Thing. He's like, I know I woohooed with your sister, but you're the one that I wanted to be with the moment I laid eyes on you. I don't even know why they woohoo. They had no chemistry. <laughs> She fell, she fell in love with him, but he didn't fall in love with her at all. Oh boy. We're getting naked over there. <laughs> pixelated, I mean. We're getting all pixelated. Gretchen Chin. It's kind of neat to see Strange Town, like, how it is. Like, you could literally see everyone's homes. From this one house. If you've got your uh, view distance up all the way. Oh, Alright, well, I guess they're in love now. Kiss Lola for the first time, made best friends, fell in love, made out. Now they're gonna have their first woohoo together. Mm, <laughs> oh, I didn't make her selectable. Okay, maybe I can do it before it stops. It ends. Because technically, it's not over. Oops. Technically not over until I make her selectable and this goes away. There we go. Alright, and he just went to bed and she dipped out. She's like, bye. <laughs> wow. Okay, well maybe I can move in, move out two sins from the singles home then. After this round, I can move out, uh, Aaron. Aaron can go be with Tank. And, uh, Lola can come be with, um, AJ. Because I know they would probably want to be together. Oh no, we got roaches. Who knocked over his trash can? That was mean. That was one of his fears. I'm sorry, AJ. No, 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 don't spray on him. No, we got the flu! Oh no. We get rejected for engagement by Lola. Oh. oh no, he's got the flu. Dang it! I 
Hi, Serendipity. Uh, hi, welcome to the stream. Um, what's been happening? So, we played the Grunt family first, and we had Tank age up into an adult. He didn't want to go to college. Rip wanted to go to college, so he went to college. He'll be added to the college round in the fall round. Buck aged into a teen as well. Um... And then we played the singles, and the singles was way more chaotic. Aaron and Chloe hate each other. They were fighting each other the entire time. Um, and then it became very, way more chaotic after that. Um, so I was trying to see if I could get him to try to match with some of the men around in town. <laughs> I always had to move Chloe out. I know. They're, I'm probably going to end up moving Aaron out and to be with Tank because Tank actually first kissed Aaron on his own and they had their first woohoo and now they're kind of like in a thing so I might move her out to be with Tank. Um, General Buzz woohooed with Lola which shocked me uh, so much. Um, I was like that's completely completely <laughs> wrong. Um, so that happened. Chloe woohooed with AJ like, they had their first woohoo together, her and Chloe. But they have no chemistry. The alien race is shocking. I know, I was like, this, I felt completely uncomfortable doing that. Um, but AJ woohooed Chloe when I invited him over. You always have Lola with AJ. I know. That's what just happened just now. AJ booty called Lola. And they just fell in love and had their first kiss and did woohoo. And now he's thinking about getting rejected for engagement and all that. So that just happened just now. <laughs> there's a there's a lot going on right now. It's too much to handle right now. Okay. And now AJ is sick with the flu, so he might die. We were wondering why he has wants right. Yeah, they just fell in love. He just booty called her. And they fell in love, so... As he woke up this morning, he, uh, rolled once. Oh my god, the roaches are still outside. I'm gonna have to call a, uh... Call a, uh, exterminator. But yeah, that's what's been going on lately. It was a mess. When I just- I just invited, like, all the guys over and was like, Let's see if I can see match them with people and, uh... It was a mess. At one point, AJ was flirting with, um, Kristen. Even though it says his, like, one and only is Lola Curious. So it was kind of weird. So not only did he woohoo with Chloe, he flirted with Kristen just the one time. Just a harmless flirt. And then he booty called Lola. <laughs> now they're in love. And now I'm probably going to end up splitting up the household so they're not, um, fighting anymore because it's, uh, too much of a hassle. Oh, thank God. AJ lived. He's healthy again. We're good. <laughs> I don't want to lose someone to the flu that fast. <laughs> Where are those roaches? We gotta throw them away. Where'd they go? Oh, here they are. You. No, nope. Lola called AJ up, I guess, to see how he's doing. Why are they talking about death? Are they talking about how his parents died a long time ago? That's the only kind of death that he has in his memories. Okay, don't get struck by lightning, please. What? Oh! <laughs> In my strange town, I had Cersei cheat with nervous, get pregnant, and then I had Cersei murder Loki with poison. Oh my god! <laughs> In my head, Loki was abusive to both Cersei and Nervous. I had black 
eyes and dark glasses and everything to fit the storyline. Oh, that's so cool. Um, in my playthrough of play, uh, Strange Town, that my like really really long playthrough that I had with them, um, Nervous and Cersei ended up having an illegitimate child together. Yeah, it was a boy, and he has red hair like Cersei, but he looked like Nervous. He has Nervous's features. Um, in this pleasant, this strange town. I keep saying pleasant view. <laughs> I'm so used to it. Um, in this strange town, Loki and Cersei had a baby. They're just, their first kid just now. And we named it, uh, based off of what chat said, we named him Confused Subject. And now Loki and Cersei are gonna torture their own son. And then they're probably, if, they actually, right after he was born, they tried for a baby on their own again. So we were just making up the storyline thinking that they were trying to have two kids and they're going to raise them differently. One, they're not going to raise at all. And the second one, they're going to raise, like, completely perfect. I watched your last stream yesterday as a video saved something. I know, I hopefully shouldn't have any issues with, um... Losing the stream because that really made me upset. <laughs> you didn't want Loki's jeans. Yeah, Loki's jeans are awful. It's always hilarious when they have a girl and the girl looks like Loki. It makes me laugh really hard. <laughs> I know you're doing really bad, AJ. I would too if you were just struck by lightning. I was gutted when I woke up and there was no video. I mean, I was too. I went to the the thing like after after the fact and I was like, "All right, let's see how the how the stream went or how the stream did." And I get there and I'm like, "Wait, where is it?" And I kept hitting the drop down arrows and I kept trying to view it in all these different ways and then I was like, "Why is it missing?" <laughs> And then once I figured out, well, obviously, once I made the realization that I wasn't going to be able to get it back, I was pretty upset for a while. Alright, let's go to bed. You just got struck by lightning. You almost died. Please. You almost died from a flu. You almost got killed from lightning. Just go to bed and then just stay in bed. And rest, please. Oh my goodness. I'm really gonna have to uh, move in Lola, though, after this. I'm gonna move in Lola, and I'm gonna move Aaron in with the... Uh, the grunts. Oh my god, he wants to get engaged to her! I'm laughing at her! Yay! Aww. It's always so cute when my sims want to roll the want to get engaged to someone. Or if they just autonomously do it. You're playing your Sedona Uberhood as a... You're a little burned out on the Max's pre-mates. Yeah. Sometimes you just need a break. <laughs> but you can't, you can't deny it. You can't stay away from them for too long because their drama is just... <laughs> it is perfect. Who is it? Oh, it's Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Kristen also has two bolts with AJ, but I don't know if they'll be getting together at all. She might try to interfere with this, but I'm not going to let it happen. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, we got to find a job. We got to see if um, that business career is in the, the job catalog here. Law, journalism, education, self-employed. No. Tried making your own hood, but it's just too much work. Yeah, I thought about doing that, and every time I start, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm actually gonna do it. I'll build, like, the first few things, and then I'll just be like, alright, I'm too bored to do this. <laughs> it's just too much, too much to do. I'm sure I can do it if I put in the time and the effort, but it's just... 
I don't know. I'd really have to get into it. And when I make community lots, it takes me like forever because I, I want to make sure it's all like nice and it works good and I don't know if it, you know, I gotta test it and then... I'm probably gonna end up doing that here though. I'm probably gonna end up remodeling this place because this, uh, um, this community lot is awful. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Oh, he wants to invite her over and chat. Alright. Let's do it. We can invite her over, chat. We can propose to her. Invite her over. Oh, I was gonna say we could serve spaghetti and then propose at the table, but he doesn't know how to make spaghetti. Dang it! Study cooking! There. <laughs> I know that was probably bad, but I really want to do it that way. We're gonna- Wait, where are you going? Come back! Oh, they're gonna go casual sit on the couch. Okay. Jeez, they're already into each other. <laughs> Serve some spaghetti. Oh. Decorating takes you forever. I like doing it, but then something always happens, so I feel like it's just time wasted. For example, a family throwing ears in the house and having to move out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you saw in my videos when I decorated Darren's house and I made it different. I go through like everything and I I wish I could have put I should put more stuff in there but I had to stop myself because I already spent an hour remodeling it. <laughs> hour and a half or so. Same thing with the uh, the Burbs household that I just um, I have a video that's going to be going out today from the Burbs that I played. And I remodeled their house, and that took me about an hour. Even though this is such a small house. Oh my gosh. Are you guys done? Alright, they're done. We're gonna serve some spaghetti. I'm gonna propose to her at the table. Can you get clutter mad? Yeah. The Sims 4? Oh my god, don't get me started on that. When I built stuff in The Sims 4, it would take me like four hours just to do a house. Maybe six, because there's so much clutter that you can put in the game. <laughs> and I'm just like, I want this here, I want this here, I want this here. And I was like, one counter will have like a bunch of things on it. <laughs> oh, I didn't have a collectible still. Come eat. I wanted you to come eat. No, no, no. Come sit with her. Mm. Aww. We're gonna do... Oh, please, she says yes. Do a surprise engagement. Please say yes. The, sorry, this angle is kind of bad, but the fridge is in the way. Please say yes. Yay! She said yes! Aww! That's so cute! Aww! Now he wants to marry her. You will next round. We used to have about 10 to 15 games. CC? Oh my god, and I was nice and very overwhelming and I hated waiting, so I learned to embrace the Maxis style. Yeah. I had, um, I, my CC stuff keeps growing, so it gets a bit, it's starting to slow down uh, a little as it's loading everything, but, um, I better be careful because eventually I've, Heard people, it takes forever for their CC to load. Like, and when I say not forever, I mean like half an hour, like 10 minutes. Like, and I'm like, holy crap, I don't have that much CC, at least. <laughs> yeah. 
sometimes you dismiss the maxes stuff so you go back to it. I have a lot of recolors though to try to help with that. So if I don't like something, then I can like change it like this. If I don't like this shower, I could change the color. Maybe we'll give him a new shower curtain. <laughs> Since I have, since I'm at it, might as well. Ew! None of these go with the floor that's in this bathroom. Maybe I'll just do this one. <laughs> it doesn't go with the floor either. But... Sorry. You reshaped it. Doesn't look all yeah. Oh boy. I don't know. Every time I play Sims, there's always something new that I go and find on the internet. Like, I'm just like, oh, I wish I had more lamps, so then I'll go lamp shopping. And I'm like, oh, I wish I had more couches, so I'll go couch shopping. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> I'm downloading a ton of Michelle's stuff today. Yeah, I have a lot of her stuff. Oh, we gotta find that job. Go search job catalog. It's Saturday. We have just this last day with Lola. Or AJ. And then I'll ask Lola to uh, join him. She can live here and get out of that chaos of a house. <laughs> Into the phone. That's Linda Bartlett again. Hmm. Okay, girl. Whatever you say. Earn a hundred bucks. Alright, well. I was holding off selling that painting because I knew he was just going to automatically just go on the uh, painting, the easel. So, I'll let him go on it again, though. And then we can wait until 6pm and then we can ask Lola to move in, at least. So she doesn't get affected by the aging. There we go. Well, now let's ask her over. Yes, your friend can come over. Buzz just stole my newspaper again. Gosh dang it, Buzz. What do you do with all those newspapers? I'm kind of curious. She brought... Did she bring tank? I think she brought tank. Yes, she did. I wanted you to move in. Propose moving. I'm kind of just wondering what the heck tank. Okay, are they gonna relax? Holy smokes, you guys are in each other a lot. <laughs> Gotta make her selectable. Then they can ask to move in. Here. We'll watch TV with Tank. I don't know what the heck he's watching. I think he's watching a movie. Is that the chicken checkers? It's like The Sims 2 on the uh, PlayStation. That's what it looks like to me. Used to own it way back in the day, The Sims 2 for PlayStation. Move in Sims. Just you, Lola. Okay. There, she moved in. Now she wants to, t he wants to talk to Lola. Oh boy, and all her wants are flirt and talk and back rub and... <laughs> she's hungry though, so let's let her eat. And she's already thinking about her roommates because she wants to invite them over. It's where a lot of my time in game is spent taking screenshots, getting the right angles, etc. Yeah, that happens a lot too off camera when I'm taking screenshots for thumbnails. 
I do a lot of uh, making sure the angles are right and wondering if it's gonna look good or trying to get people out of the way because sometimes they run through. I don't really download clothing unless I'm defaulting something that is ugly. Yeah, I have a little bit of custom content clothes, but a lot of the, uh, like, Lola's shirt, I think, is a, a replacement um, for those sweaters. I think. I'm not sure, though. You go through koi hair phases, but it never lasts long. I love the female hair, but male, I find a little iffy. Makes sense. Did you make chowder? It looks good. Makes me want a bowl. Alright. Time for bed. Oh, I'm sorry, I interrupted your shower. Alright, it's time for bed. What a bed. There we go. Oh, I can't wait for their wedding next round. The clothes you go use pineapple forest clothing tweaks that fixes the meshes and adds morphs. Your reshade just makes your game look modern. I can't do it without now. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of things that I can't live without anymore. So then when I start a new save and I'm like, Oh man, I have to go grab that thing that I need. Um, that I have in my other save. Because <laughs> I, sometimes I try to see how how much I can do without just too much custom content. But then I'm like, no, I need it. All right, we're done with AJ. All them moved in with him. They're engaged. And now we have Ophelia. We have to finish her around in uh, college. She went to college, and then we can move in rip with her. You can easily play without CC, but you need mods. Yeah, I think I can do the same. I think I can do the same. <laughs> There's a couple CC items that I really like, though, that I use. Like the one tile dog bed. If you can only have one mod for The Sims 2, I wouldn't play it. <laughs> Calling people to sleaze off and they're all at work in the sims. <laughs> yeah, I think if I had to play with one mod specifically, I would probably hate it, but I would play with ACR. There's no way that I can live without ACR anymore. Can't play Sims 2 any other way than rotationally, and it's so annoying to play that way without a bunch of mods. Yeah. When I'm playing my Legacy, I play with the um. Oh, she wants to get engaged with Johnny. Oh. When I play uh, my Legacy, I play with the um story progression mod, which is different for me because I've never played with something like that before in the Sims 2, but it works out pretty good. Because for that, I just need to play my legacy. I don't need to play the other families. Same. I used to play... Uh, yeah, that's how I used to play the, the, the Sims serendipity. I used to just play with one... I would make a family, have them have a bunch of kids, and then they would have, like... I would get into their, like, 
Gener the next generation and I'd be like, now I'm bored, I'm gonna go make another family and do the same thing that I just did. <laughs> if I could have one mod, it would be four day college semester because I would rather die than play the full 21 days. Oh my god, yeah, that's true. Uni is like a chore, it is. I, I hate uni so much. I used to not mind it, but after doing it so many times in my rotational gameplay, I was like, I always hated coming back to uni. I was like, God, now it's time to do the uni round, and I was like, I hate it so much. <laughs> I have the uh, twenty one day one day semester though, so she in five days here she should be a junior if all goes well in her um, degree here, which we should probably start working on some skill points for her. So, she doesn't, uh, plunk. I always wanted to do a 10 generation thing, but my attention span is terrible for something that great. I'm jealous of people who easily can. Uh, for fun, I decided to do a, like, a short span lifespan legacy on The Sims 4. That's about as best as I can get to doing a legacy is when I have them on a shorter lifespan because otherwise my attention span just can't handle longer lifespans. Um, so I did a short lifespan on it and I think I'm on Gen 4 right now, surprisingly. Gen 3 or 4. <laughs> That's farther than I think I've ever gotten. <laughs> but I haven't played it in a while so that really shows just how bored I get of it. <laughs> All right, you're done with that. Dance and or meet someone new, play with, entertain. All right, well, let's meet some of the kids here. That's a lot, yeah. Yeah, but I was constantly like keeping up with all the the drama going on because um, well, my my founder Sim became friends with Bella Goth. And Bella Goth just kept coming over a lot. Oh, she wants to have a baby? Girl, you're in college. You gotta wait for that. <laughs> um, but she, Bella Goth just kept coming over all the time. And then one day she came over and she was big and pregnant. So she and Mortimer had another baby. And I was like, oh, this is so neat. And then um, after a while, she came back over and... Uh, she was like, I need to stay for a while, and I was like, oh, I guess things are not going good with her and Mortimer. And not gonna lie, like, literally a couple days later when she came over, her name changed, her last name changed, because she remarried someone, and I was like, oh, what happened? I was, I was shook. I was like, there's no way you broke up with Mortimer and went and married someone else. And then she came over again later, and she was pregnant again, and I was like, oh my god. I really wanted to know what was going on in her life, because that seemed way more fun than what I was doing. <laughs> the neighborhood stories can get crazy, I always disable it. Yeah, it was kind of a... It was funny, it was... I was just laughing about it. It's badly structured, yeah. It could have been- everything could be better in that- in the, the Sims 4 if they actually put the time and effort into it, but you know, they're just slapping it together just to make us shut up. <laughs> Why would- okay, I'm starting to think she might have gotten pregnant from her risky woohoo back when, uh, she romanced with Johnny again. Cause Johnny, uh, they met each other again after she moved in and I had her invite her over to, you know, just see each other and they risky wooed and I think she might be pregnant. <laughs> oh, she re-rolled everything, never mind. Do research. All right, that's more. Oh, she's doing logic. Okay, well you can do that if you want. I won't say no to her gaining skill points on other things. It has its quirks, but the cons outweigh the pros. True. Yeah.
you're not big into quirky characters for the level floor and the lazy actions where things just teleport. Yeah, nah, me neither. I wish they put some effort in all that. Yeah, we really downgraded from when we have The Sims 2 where they actually animate everything that they do and then The Sims 4 things just teleport, like... <laughs> oh, I just magically got a knife in my hand! Not like in The Sims 2 where you actually pull open the drawer and take a knife out. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and Katrina was so dumb, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't think anyone likes Katrina. <laughs> Katrina is this mother figure, quote unquote, that they made. <laughs> Whenever they run off after being scared, I turn the game off, I can't handle it. Then the constant phone used my brain hurting thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, that was always. That was always, um, a clone, whatever, yeah. <laughs> Their way of attempting to, uh, relate to our storytelling, yeah, okay. Alright, we gotta eat. Oh crap, I forgot my headset is dying. <laughs> that was just my, uh, my Windows thing telling me that my headset's dying. Not like I need it, but... I would like to, I would like to hear the nice salsa music playing in the background here. Am I looking forward to Pair of Lives? Um, I thought I would give it a shot just to see what it would- Cause I like- I believe in giving things a chance. I mean, do I think I'm gonna love love it more than The Sims 2? No. Do I think it's really good and well made right now? Yeah. There we go. Pointing at my headset. I'm not gonna get excited over it though, because it is like a whole year, like, it still won't come out for another year, so. I don't like hyping myself up and then having to wait all that long for that. But I did see all the gameplay stuff and it seemed kind of basic if, right now for me. The- I love the whole like interactions though, like... I think I like it but I'm not sure it'll be capable of rotational or generational play. I know, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Like it seems a bit basic for just like one maybe like one person in like telling their story which i have no problems with and i think i might like it and i think it'll be fun but i again i don't think it'll live up to the sims 2 at all i do like the way that they tell you though like oh i want to flirt with this person or i want to do this and i i need to do that and like it okay yeah i know my headset's charging we got it I like I liked that aspect the most, in my opinion. The art style, I don't really like. I know a lot of people hate the art style and love or love the art style. I can give a I don't care. It looks it looks nice to me. Well, anything in this genre? No. Let's be realistic. No. <laughs> Same thing with, like, Life by You, when I heard that was coming out and I looked into that, it was like... That seems- it seems very, um... It seems very... Uh. Rotational gameplay-like, and the characters scare you. Yeah, I know, it, it's really creepy to me. I like the art style for, let's say, like, building. Like, I think it's gonna be a really good building game, like The Sims 4. But do I think, like, it's gonna be a good life sim and stuff like that? Maybe? But I'm not too sure about it. I didn't see too much about it other than it being, like... It gave me a lot of story progression, like, 
vibes, you know, like, oh, you can take control of a person right across the street if you see them out and about, and it's like, yeah, but that seems more like story progression. Or NRAAS in The Sims 3. It doesn't help that whenever they're in creative human mode, they have yellow dead eyes. Yeah, it's so creepy. <laughs> Their faces are like mannequin like. It's super creepy. <laughs> they kind of make me feel like. If you ever played, um. They need better skin. Yeah. I agree. Have you ever played, um, City Skylines? They kind of look like those people in City <laughs> You don't get to play with the people in City Skylines, but, like, just seeing them walking around anywhere is just like, ooh. That's just what they look like. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding out for an improvement or CC. Yeah, I can't- I- I'm just- like I said, I don't want to- bring my hopes up for something and then just get crushed immediately. I believe in, like I said, giving things a chance. I will give them a chance, but I'm not gonna, like, hold expectations onto it, because then I don't- I will just get disappointed, so. I'm trying to be smart about it. <laughs> I think it's good, though, that there are going to be competitors for The Sims, so that maybe EA can get their, uh, get their butts in the gear and start thinking about doing better for The Sims 5 whenever that comes out, or Project Renee. <laughs> well, she's got her final exam in two hours already. Influence someone to do my assignment, influence someone to write my term paper. Alright, well, you kind of have to go now, actually. <laughs> Good luck. Hopefully you pass. <clears throat> You've never been good at those types of games. They hold my attention for 30 minutes. I can play them for a little bit, but then I, yeah, I switch games. I switch games pretty easily. If ever I get bored of The Sims, I go to, like, a city builder or something like that. But then it doesn't last long. I always come back to The Sims. Yeah, he probably won't, yeah. I can- I can dream. <laughs> they have a lot of people who will buy anything they give them, that's true. That's all- that's a problem with games nowadays, is... They can put out whatever they want, we'll just buy it anyway. Whenever an expansion pack comes out, people get hyped, but others- put others down when they point out the flaws, get upset when it's terrible, repeat, yeah, that's true. Oh, good, she passed. Alright, well. Oh, this isn't a hacked computer. That's annoying. I need it to be a hacked computer so I can put the money away. Um. Just giving her her money back. I think I did. Um, cause this is all her money that she got from... She got some money from her, uh, scholarships. She got the orphan fund and the scholar grant. So she got... 2,500 from her... Scholar's grant, and then she just got 400 just now. I mean, technically this is all her money anyway, but... And she just got 400 just now from her uh, semester. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like... <laughs> that emoji is meant to represent pirates. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, no, um, unfortunately, EA has all my money for, uh, The Sims 4. <laughs> and, uh, I am still over here playing The Sims 2. They have all my money for The Sims 2, The Sims 3, and The Sims 4. <laughs> like... 
Oh, man. Well, I mean, technically not The Sims 2, because I bought them off Amazon, so whoever sold them to me off Amazon has my money. Oh, that's funny. She's just doing her assignment alone. Okay. I didn't tell her to do that, but sure. She wants to be friends with her professors. Alright. Well, get chatting, because it's going to take you a while. Uh... Wait, which one is which? I only see this one, so we're just gonna... Oh, the other one was right next to him. Get chatting. So we get to be friends. This also raises her bar a little bit by chatting with her professors. There we go. So if you need a if you need a help with getting their um, bar up, just uh, start talking to their professors when they get that warrant. What kind of lifetime aspirations want? She wants to reach maximum long-term aspiration. Okay, well I was gonna give her a major if it was job-related, but it's not. Yeah, no. The Sims 4, it's fun for a little bit for me, but it's not always a game that I go back to, like The Sims 2. The Sims 2 I've been playing for years and years and years, and I'm still not bored of it. <laughs> it's not even worth pirating. <laughs> for how bad it is? No. <laughs> The only one that I have is The Sims 1. I have the- I downloaded The Sims 1 on my computer. So I can play that and give it a shot. It was, a uh, very hard. <laughs> oh, that's the men's bathroom. I keep clicking on the men's. I'm sorry. I wanted to clean it. It's dirty. It's a. You get no. Everyone knows that boys don't clean up after themselves. Like, <laughs> come on. Actually, that's not true. I can't. I can't say it. Not all boys clean up after themselves. But some do. She wants to be friends with Travis, be friends with her other professor. I mean, you have uh, your exam in like a couple seconds. Jeez, I feel like her round sped by so fast. But that's because I'm just speed throwing through it. We gotta ask Johnny to get engaged. We'll have to take him somewhere. All right, your exam's ready. Go. Just a few girls too, as I'm guilty of it. I mean, to be honest, true. My house is a mess. I should be cleaning it. I'm here playing The Sims. <laughs> That's just the part of being human. Alrighty, let's uh, deposit her money. She's got 700 more. That's good. Alright, and I guess we'll practice speech because now she needs a charisma skill point or a mechanical. But I'm trying to give her one of everything. I clean five minutes later, my daughter messes it up. Yeah. That's another story if you got kids. That's the one thing that I hated whenever I was watching my nephews when they were little. 
when I would clean up stuff that they would mess up and then like three seconds later they come barreling through the room and mess it all up again and I'm like, alright. Feels good. Oh, these two are flirting. She reeks. I am, he's like, he's into that. He's like, ew, you know what? You stink, girl, but I like that. <laughs> Alright, well, let's chat with Travis. She wants to be friends with Travis. There we go. Now we're friends with him. I'm surprised she keeps rolling once to gain skill points. Normally, my family sims flunk. Because all they want to do is, like, do stuff family related. Oh, she's got class. You need to go. Sorry, phone. I can't answer that. Your living room is spotless when it's she's in bed. Come morning, it's Tim. Yeah. <laughs> sure, that's always fun. Just walking into a room and going, "Oh, I thought this was clean just a second ago." Look. <laughs> I watch my sims clean their houses, that's what I do instead of cleaning my house. <laughs> oh. Alright, we need to get you to bed, you're tired. And the guy's not here to make you food anymore, so... It's nice while it lasts, I'm sure. Just one brief moment of... freshness. <laughs> These beds are awful. Their energy goes up very slow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Your sims do laundry and socialize while I do the complete os opposite. <laughs> hey. Instead of studying, what else could you do? Just just watch TV. Watch football. <laughs> you got your exam in a little bit. Aren't you afraid of not passing? I mean, she might do for a while, but we'll see. Alright, there she goes. Have fun. Good luck. Hopefully you pass. Oh, she did! Awesome! Answer the phone. What's her professor? Giving her private... private lessons on the phone. He's telling her the... <laughs> he's telling her the uh, answers of the next uh, quiz. I mean, I don't know. I never talked to my professors on the phone when I was in college. Oh, she's got class again. Good luck. Alrighty, let's see. Ooh, she's not gonna pass. She needs a cleaning skill point. Maybe she can get one from the shower? Okay. Alright, well then she might pass then. Well, this is manageable, I guess. And we have plenty of time to propose to Johnny, so that's why I'm not really too, uh, too worried about it. Hopefully, she will graduate the next 
semester. Or she might graduate in spring on the first day. I don't know. She yeah, she started a uh, she started pretty uh one one day late. Alrighty. Now we can move Rippin though. And he can be with her. So then we can get rid of two birds with one stone. Alright, they're done. Round's done. Yay, we're done with round one! <laughs> so in the next stream we'll be playing the Curious Brothers again with all their many children. <laughs> and we want to remember they have there are four children there now. We have Taika, Axiom, uh, Belena, and Bator. <laughs> oh my god. And three of them are toddlers, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna move- I'm gonna go back in so then Rip ages up. Son woohooed with his girlfriend in his dad's bed. So I got the dad that chastised him. <laughs> now, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Picture time. Nightbot, you didn't have to step in on that one. <laughs> I should turn that off, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> You're good. You're fine. <laughs> it's just the uh, automatic mod, so then I didn't have, um... I didn't go through a lot of it. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Hopefully, I'll, 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 I have to adjust Nightbot settings so it doesn't do that. You're fine. <laughs> Alright, let's get Rip in his room real quick. And then we'll get out of here. He wants to gain a skill point already. That's great. Alright. Yeah, it censored picture time. That's what, that's what happened. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to, um, it's just, it's just uh, too many caps, so I, I'll have to undo that, because I don't, I don't mind the caps thing. Not a bad stream. Three hours, 14 minutes. That's not bad. That's not what my, uh, thing says. Oh, my, mine froze, I guess. My timer froze. <laughs> I'm playing on <laughs> Yeah. I am... Um, I had a friend. I have a friend who, when they type, they always put their period after, like they put a space in between the period and the last word. And that makes me so angry. <laughs> I want to be like, why do you put a space after the last word? So like, they'll go... <laughs> and then they'll put it out, like, they'll put the period way out, way out there. Like, that's like, wh why are you doing that? 
You don't need to cap for everyone. Hey, I know you don't. That's annoying too. But like, I have a friend that like whenever they type, they always put their period after like a space after the last word and then put a period. And it's like, why? I want to like call them out, but I'm just like, whatever. I shouldn't bother about a period. <laughs> Don't like it. Yeah, no. <laughs> it always bothers me. Well, I'm gonna write a note in that so I can tell Nightbot to chill. Change chat settings for Nightbot. Yeah. One of my friends, they like to, um, shorten things sometimes, so then I always have to figure out what the heck they're saying when they shorten stuff all the time. Or they like, they type things like, wrong. Like they'll miss letters and stuff, and so I have to figure out what the heck they're saying in a sentence. And I don't know if it's just because they're just, you know, typing that fast where they miss letters and then they just hit enter, or if it's just... <laughs> They're actually doing it on purpose. Whenever you come across those words where certain letters are in bold, let's mix up letters, I can understand the whole word sentence. Yeah, I know. It's a good, uh, it's a good way to teach your brain <laughs> to fill in the blanks. <laughs> Text talk, yeah. I don't, I don't do too much text talk. I do like small things that make sense to me, but like after that, like whenever someone is just like, whenever someone uses those code words and I'm just like, I have no idea what the heck you're saying at all. Like, why do you have to shorten it? That makes no sense. Especially when new ones come out and then I'm like, what the heck are you saying? And they're like, oh, you never heard of this? And I'm like, no. <laughs> FML, I always forget. <laughs> Too lazy to type full words. Yeah, some things I'll shorten, but some things I'm just like, okay, I need to get my point across. I hate this lot. I'm going to burn it. <laughs> you rather say because BC than because yeah, for because. If, if it makes sense to me, but I, I had- I was talking to someone, like, new and they were using some kind of slang on me that was, like, I don't remember what it was, but I had no idea what the heck he was saying, so I had to Google everything that he was saying to be like, what the heck does this mean in this text language? So like he would say something and then I would have to google what the heck that meant, come back and then answer him and that took like way longer than just like, just saying the words and just so I wouldn't understand it.
It's too much of a headache for you, yeah. I was like, I almost like wanted to say this isn't even worth trying to talk to them. Oh my god, this pool is horrible. God, the roofs, everything, it's all bad. You certainly hit the. Get rid of it all. I'm gonna remodel this place so it's not a piece of garbage. This is horrible. I should have just deleted the entire lot and then put a new lot here. That would have been faster than doing this, but whatever. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna delete it all by hand. Get out of here, floor. No one wants you. What do I need here? Probably a- So what fun thing for sure, we need a clothing store, we need a grocery store, and we need a pet store for sure. But that's what this is gonna be. Oops, that is not what I wanted. I wanted to delete it. Maybe we can put up like a magazine and a game store again too. It might not be a bad idea. Oops, I should just delete it with this. Sometimes I find deleting things individually very therapeutic, yeah. I was just thinking that, like, this is actually kind of relaxing. <laughs> in The Sims 4, whenever I'm in the mood, I look for a Restore Me project and I like to delete all the rubbish. Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh man, this thing's got one on top still. There we go. That'd probably be fun to do, to take one of those uh, houses that people say renovate me where they just put like a box or whatever and then you try to make a house out of it and try to do that. That'd be fun. Sometimes I like building, sometimes I don't. It just depends on my mood. It's <laughs> far up in the mood I close the game and open the steps too. I've done that a couple times too. And I'm just like, man, I want to play The Sims 4. And then, I'll, and then I'll play it, and then I'll be like, man, I want to play The Sims 2. I've been opening The Sims 4 since Growing Together came out. I played it every day for a month and then never touched it again. Do 
too many expansion packs came out last year. I agree. Um. What was... I Yeah, I think Growing Together was really good. I liked Growing Together a lot. And then... I don't know. For Rent was just a mess. And I was like, wait. I didn't know they were actually making For Rent. Like, all of a sudden... I just hear all this news like, oh, new new expansion pack, and I'm like, already? Didn't we just get one? <laughs> it mostly felt like game packs, yeah. Poor Ren was just so broken, too. I heard a lot of people, like, would crash and lose a lot of stuff, and their mods conflicted a lot. Oh yeah, the horse ranch. I played that for like a day. I was into it. I made like a, a sim that was like all horsey like and then I played it for a little bit and then I was like, I am bored. <laughs> okay. I need to tell the stop. I don't think you'll actually- I don't think I can save the settings though right now while I'm in stream. <laughs> Nightbot! They're not doing anything- any, anything wrong. Hold on, I might be able to- let's see if I can- no, you're good. <laughs> you're fine. I don't know if I can actually change it right now or not. Okay. No, you're good. I, sometimes I talk in caps as well. I just when I just uh I just had it there because in the first stream I had a uh, a bot come in and try to sell me viewers, you know. So I I had a night bot come uh, sent after that so to try to watch the stream for that so we didn't have that again. so many opportunities missed with horse ranch yeah he wanted a riding club or for them to be included with the bed services yeah all right so many things they could have done should have done would have done didn't do that atrocious dumb pool and then we're gonna erase all this there it's like brand new there was so many missed opportunities with the sims 4 in general yeah Oh, a vet service for the you know, horses, yeah, I agree. They should have just remade the Sims 2 with the Sims 4 graphics, build, mode, and cast, yeah. I think everyone would have been happy with that. I mean, the how many times that we screamed that we wanted, um... What was it? That we wanted open worlds, and yet they still didn't do that. Um... I'm gonna put... I'm gonna close these. 
I just realized they're not closed. One of them is a game that's easy to play rotationally, yeah. Because in my opinion, that's the most fun way to play with The Sims, and I have a hard time playing the other games because of it. Yeah, I think so too. I feel like this should be it. the drive-in way. Okay, well... This is not... Five spaces, there we go. There. We're gonna have a... If we're gonna have a um, parking lot, you might as well have a drive-in space that's as big as the stupid, um, as the driveways in this game. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, The Sims 3 is so slow and laggy. I thought about doing that too for The Sims 3 because it could be a bit easier, but still. This is 13 by 16. This is 15 by 16. Let's try to match it here. Like, I, I appreciate like the that we can attempt to do it, but does it work as well? Probably not. Most likely not. Use this for the um This is how they make their parking spots. I guess so. Too text and you have a really good computer. There's two people out here there who creates amazing worlds, but they love to clutter whenever I enter a lot. It takes a good five minutes to load all the textures. Yeah. I can't even get in the Sims 3 because it's I have <laughs> I have a really strong GPU, but it's still like it's it's so it's so like oh my god, I can't even think of the word. I don't like these. This isn't working how I want it to. Starting over. Or am I doing it wrong? Do this. There we go. So apparently, this is the same. It just doesn't look like it's the same space, even though it is. Like, my eyes are playing tricks on me. Maybe make the car park a bit bigger so they're equal in size. Yeah. 
let's see here. 15 by 15. I don't think we need this one now. Does that look right? It's just hard with the um, these because they're not going to be at, way at the end there, like right in the middle. It's better, yeah. It looks better. That's why it looks funky because I can't get them right down the line of the tile. But I think that looks better. something in the middle because that's gonna drive me nuts at how big this is not too sure yet though maybe we can put like a planter in the middle like we have here we can put some benches yeah we can put some benches here with, and then put more of these plants that we have going on out here. We'll put these in the middle. The good thing about having quarter tile placement is you can put things right in the middle, right where you need them. There's one sheet that I would need in this game, and it's that. Maybe you can put a cactus in here, too. What is this one? Oh, it's a stop. <laughs> the Christmas cactus. Sure. should be good enough, I think. Okay, I need maybe like four buildings. I'm just gonna space out like four buildings here, maybe. I'm gonna have to obviously cut them up, but let's see. I have like this much room. So we can cut up some- they don't even have to be the same size either, we can make them different sizes. So like, this one can be longer. This one can be really small, maybe. Or maybe the, the really small one in the middle. Let me cut up this one again. There we go. So they're not all the same sizes, because otherwise they're going to look funny. I know we need a pet store for one. A clothes store and like a um, grocery store and like a game store maybe it's pretty much all you need at this at the start that I can think of
I'm not too sure how I want to do this. I mean, I got a good basic layout, though. <laughs> Thinking I want this one to be the grocery store. Yeah, maybe. Just put some doors, maybe. Oops, that is not <laughs> in the wall. That door is backwards. There we go. There we go, yeah. And then... Hmm... Maybe this one could be the game store, this one could be the pet store... What did I say? Grocery store and clothes store. Yeah, that works. I should probably mark them with something so then if I come back then I won't forget it. Because, uh, I unfortunately have to go. We're at the end of my stream here. Hi, Gift of Gabby. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the follow. I am doing well today. Um, I'm nearing the end of my stream. We just got done with the uh, round one of Strange Town here, and then uh, I got sick and tired of this really bad community lot next to the pool, so I'm remodeling it because I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm just starting out the basics, so I'll come back to it and finish it later. I'm terrible at community lots because I need to go out unless I need to. Oh, you rarely go out? Yeah. Um, I kind of just like make it up as I go and uh, if I like it then it works and if I don't like it well then whatever. I just kind of make it look nice in my mind and I don't know. Because uh, I'm not an architect but <laughs> I can uh, put together some kind of nice stuff. There was a, a community lot that I built on one of my like like older neighborhoods that I built a park for and it was like the best park that I've ever made and it was so cool and then yeah I don't know I haven't visited that, that visited that save in a while though I'm just gonna put these for now oh this one we kind of need We might have to do that for everyone then. Oops. Come on, go right. Go back. And we can do different doors. We can do the... <laughs> the ugly pet store door. For the pet shop. <laughs> I don't know if I'll actually use that. It's fitting, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, that looks horrid. <laughs> Even the different colors. I don't know, we'll see. use some of my CC doors so I can just go with some of these. Some of the newer doors. This one can be for the uh, clothing store. Oh man.
I don't know, I might have to go check out some CC doors. Or maybe, oh, these colors are not too bad, but I don't know. I'm just going to put a door here just so we know. I might have to fix the doors, though. They might even have to all be the same. Alright, and, and of course I've already forgotten, so I think I said this is going to be the pet store. This was going to be the grocery store. put stuff in here so I know what is what. This was gonna be the clothing store. And this is gonna be the magazine video game store. Just so I know what I'm getting myself into, right? So I know what, what is what when I come back. But uh, that's all the time I have for uh, today's stream, unfortunately. Um, um, and the next one, I believe I'm going to do on Monday again next week. Um, next Wednesday, I'm not sure if I'll be able to stream or not. I have something going on that day, but I will let you guys know, of course. Um, and I want to thank everyone for stopping by and saying hi and chatting with me today. And for all the follows today. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and I will be putting out the Pleasant View video that I made yesterday. Um, thank you for stopping by Serendipity. <laughs> um, I'll have the video up on, the playback will be up after the stream ends here, and then of course I'll upload that to my stream channel for anyone who wants to watch any playbacks. I'm putting them up on my Vinub Streams Sims channel. Um, you can find them all on there. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for coming. Um, I'll see you guys later. I love you, bye.